Who would have ever thought that we'd be in worship service? Right? Who would have ever thought that we'd be in God's house and have to stay apart? Beloved like church family, if this doesn't wake up a soul, I don't know what will. Hey. Hey. And by the grace of God, it's time to show this world who Lord Jesus Christ is. Hey. Hey. I don't say this prideful ever. I rebuke my pride and I ask, I beg you for your prayers, for all of your leadership, for your whole church family. That we have one goal and one goal alone is to bless the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The only way we know how is God Himself who lives on the inside. His name is, say His name with me, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And I'm going to ask for your prayers and we're going to open up in prayer. It's a new season. I'm trembling with fear. Hallelujah. And I only fear God Almighty. Amen. And in a moment, I'm asking Lord Jesus Christ. For me to be a, an obedient mouthpiece, every time I'm honored and blessed, listen, beloved church, I'm not worthy to stand here before you. But I know my Lord Jesus Christ is. Amen. 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 And last time I checked, where does Lord Jesus Christ live? Amen. Come on now, be bold about it. Where does he live? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, right here. If you didn't do it, look what I want to do. Amen. I will take my big old paw, and in Jesus' name, I will take that blessing. Because it's just sitting out there. It's going to get spoiled. I don't want nothing getting spoiled that Lord Jesus paid for. Amen. Amen. So do you want your blessing today? Amen. Amen. Do you want it? Oh, there you go. He's out there. Praise God. If you guys want it. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you left heaven to save us. Yes. For such a time as this, Lord, you knew exactly what was going to happen. And by your grace, by your mercy, Father God, you have shielded us through your blood, only through Christ our Lord. And Father, you didn't leave us there. You didn't leave us as orphans. Now, Father, you reside on the inside in every breath. Holy Spirit, this is who you are. And Father God, with every blessed breath that you have blessed us with, Lord Jesus Christ, we speak your word, Father, and may your word be released into the atmosphere as a mighty sword of yours, Father God. Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I bind up every demonic principality. And Father God, right now I call every foul and garbage thing mute in Jesus' name. And through the anointing of Holy Spirit, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, as we shout a Your holy church, Father. Amen. And all we want to do, Father, is worship you. Amen. Is bless you. Hallelujah. And Father, for your presence to flow in the Holy of Holies, renew our mind, Father. Rebuke fear, Father God. Amen. And we just thank you, Father, that your presence goes before us. Destroying the plots of the enemy. Yes. Pushing yes. evil far, far, far away. Yes. And it's in Jesus Christ's name and all God's beloved said. Glory to God. Our worship service is, how many of you remember that on <laughs> Glory to God, right? Green eggs and ham. How many of you remember that when you live? Show hands. Praise God. You know, with all this going on in this fallen world, the Lord is so merciful, so loving, so gracious. Right, Mom? Thanks for my shirt. Praise God. How many of you like my shirt? Hey. Praise God. Mom came by, Mom and Dad came by and said, bless, bless me with uh, a bunch of shirts. And I thought this was perfect because of what Holy Spirit has in store for us. Amen. Our worship service is titled, I Am Ham. <laughs> Say it with me, I Am Ham. I Am Ham. <laughs> Through Sam, I Am. Through Sam, I Am. Now, many of you are going to be like, man, we need to pray for Brother Joey. He done lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and praise God I have for Jesus. Amen. Amen. How, many, how many of you believe that no matter what this world is going through, that I am blessed and highly favored. Hey, hey, Hallelujah. Hey, Can you say with me, I am blessed hey, and highly favored? Hey, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you a question, and all God wants to hear from the shelf. 
God of your love, if you believe it with your heart, if you're going to speak it out of your mouth, I'm going to ask you some questions. And all God wants to hear is for you to say, I am. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can you get up off your tail? Come on now. You sat down for three months. Come on now. Amen. We need it to be 
correct, right? Amen. Come on, beloved church family. Let's rebuke religion. Let's rebuke things that we were taught when we were little, little right? Amen. Let's let Holy Spirit teach us. He's our only teacher. Amen. 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 God is. Amen. And just allow, open up your spirit, your heart. Get out of this. Amen. And just be in this mode of just worship, of just thanksgiving. Amen. See, there's one chosen person, and his name is, say with the church, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. He is the chosen one. Amen. But because of him, because of him, when he went into hell, hallelujah, he chose you. Amen. Amen. He saved your soul from eternal damnation, and it's only through the blood of God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. God, here's the, here's the word to back it up. John 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Amen. This is a powerful word now when you talk about might. Here the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, yeah, you call me Lord, but I'm saying might because will you glorify me sacrificing your body? Am I adding the word might on that screen, or is that the word of God? That's the word of God. That you might bear fruit. See, even Lord Jesus Christ, in all of agape, in all of his glory, is saying, I am he. I am who I am. Can I get an amen? I am. But God is saying, you receive me. Now it's up to you in a relationship with my Father, through the anointing of the Holy Spirit in you, will you get intimate with me? You see, many people can say that they know Lord Jesus Christ based on reading scripture. Many people can recite the Bible better than most people. That doesn't do anything for God. What does everything, say with me, everything. What does everything for God is when you are completely transparent and honest with the Lord Jesus Christ and you confess, Father, I'm a sinner. Father, I've fallen. Amen. Father, I'm thinking thoughts that aren't allowed in you. Amen. You see, when you think these thoughts of deception, when you think these thoughts of lust, when you think these thoughts of things that want to put bondage on you, Lord Jesus Christ has given you the anointing to stop. Amen. Amen. Lord, I'm having this conversation of confusion in my body. And I know, Lord Jesus Christ, you're not confused. Amen. Amen. I know, Father God, you're not confused. Amen. I know, Holy Spirit, as you live in me. How do you know, Holy Spirit, as you take a breath? Amen. And it's in this anointing when you breathe God in, and you know, because God will expose to you what does not belong in your life. Amen. Amen. Is Jesus Christ Lord? Amen. Amen. Huh? Half the room. So I'm around half. The Bible's right. Half of us are going to leave. Half are going to stay. Is Jesus Christ Lord? Amen. Amen. So if Jesus Christ is your Lord, why then are you thinking of yesterday? Amen. Why then are you meditating on yesterday? Amen. Because last time I checked, when you say, you are my Lord, my God, you own me, I have no right to think about the Amen. past. So now that you receive me, you might, out of God's mouth, you might bear fruit. And what is this fruit that God is referring to? Yes, Galatians 5, 22, Holy Spirit fruit. Amen. It's in your intimacy with God where it's no longer about me, me, me. Rebuke that. Amen. I just had a conversation with a beloved brother this morning, and I said, listen, I confess to you. I went down that road, that road for years, wanting to be a mega church preacher, wanting to be a, a world evangelist. Wanted this, this, this. Guess what? It was all Joey, Joey, Joey. Amen. And you know what the cost was? <laughs> Torment. Yep. Torture. Amen. Depression, anxiety, almost committed suicide. Amen. 
My wife almost left me. Amen. Said he turned into a monster. But guess what? I can stand before people and act the part. Yep. But yet I can look in the Holy Spirit and my beloved wife and she's just hurting. Doing your faith, you're double-minded. You're trying to act like somebody that you're not, but God wants you to be that person. But you're holding on to yourself. Hey. I ask you, will you let yourself go today? Will you let yourself go today? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Will you let yourself go today? How will you let yourself go today? Or you can sit here, you can sit here at the part. See, I'm done with you. I'm done with the church. This is serious business now. Look at this pandemic that took place. And by the grace of God, He's shielding you all through the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. All through the name. Say His name. Lord Jesus Christ. There's no greater name. Hallelujah. So no matter what you're going through in your life, no matter what the distraction is, no matter what the medical report says, no matter what your bank account looks like, no matter how crunchy you get, say His name. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And God himself, through the anointing Holy Spirit in you, will rebuke the things that are trying to come against you. But it, you have to submit to Lord Jesus Christ. You have to. And I want to explain to you here in a moment why this is so important that we get into this. I love this because God said his name is, say it with me. I am. And praise God. In Exodus 3, 14 says this. This is what God says to Moses at the burning bush. I am that I am. And he said, you tell the children, I am. Amen? Amen. There's another scripture we're going to go to Revelation. In Revelation 21.6. He said unto me, it is done. I am. Hallelujah. I am. And then he goes even further. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst. Listen to the family. God is talking about you. Amen. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will never go dry. You will never get crunchy. You know why? The Holy Spirit in you. He says it right here. I will give unto him a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Who is that? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. You will never be crunchy. You will never be crunchy. Hallelujah. Last time I checked crunchy, you're thirsty. Right? So this is ham. So say it with me, I am Ham. I am Ham. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael. Why are we, why are we, why are we driving this in? Remember, they're chosen by God, anointed of God. The Word of God. If you read, I encourage you to read all Daniel one. We just, I have so much to tell you. Amen. Praise God. It's like, it's like, you know what I'm saying. I'm so excited. I got so much to tell you. That's why I need your prayers because I know what I want to say, but I have to be obedient. Right? I have to be obedient, so I'm kind of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, so, so please understand, there's so much. But when you read Daniel 1, you just, you, you not only hear and read and see, but you can feel the anointing of God of how pleased he was with having, with, with him. It just helps me not to say the whole thing. Okay? Don't be crunchy. So to Daniel. 1, 6, those were the ones that were chosen. We're going to go into the next verse. This is where it takes a turn. The chief official gave them new names. Now, many of you know this in the Bible. Many of you study it and know. But remember, if we get out of our head, Holy Spirit will bless you with life-changing revelation today. Amen. 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 Now, I need you to understand when King Nebuchadnezzar took over, besieged, the word of God says besieged, took over his army, you know, put a stronghold in Jerusalem. When King Nebuchadnezzar moved in, there was a stronghold. But remember, God chose his sons. Amen. See, when God chooses you, he gives you the name above every name. Amen. What's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You have on paper, on your driver's license, on your birth certificate, amen, say your name. But Whose name do you truly have? Lord Jesus Christ. You are chosen by God Almighty and you are sealed through his spirit. Amen. Amen. Which means that no matter where you go, you can live here in Lebanon, you can go out to California, you can go out to Hawaii, right, Brother Chuck? Wherever you go, guess what? What's your name? Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Why? I am him. 
Amen. I love to say this all the time, especially when the enemy tries to ride me or tries to infiltrate my thoughts, especially when I come across a religious person that is just nasty. Am I talking to, am I talking to anybody? Amen. Right? Judgmental, nasty, crunchy, right? And then guess what? That experience put thoughts in my head, and if I'm not accountable to Holy Spirit, I can run with those thoughts. Yep. And when I run with those thoughts, it takes me down a road God never meant for me to go down. Right? Amen. Now, God never meant you to go down that road because they're wrong thoughts. Say you the wrong thoughts. Wrong God. But the glory of Lord Jesus Christ is, is that as soon as we say thank you, Father God, immediately in that thanksgiving, God himself through the anointing will start to read in your mind. Right? See, God, God shows me. That look, the enemy is trying to have a conversation with you, son. Why are you still talking to him? Stop talking to him and start thanking me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you thank him, God says, Mike. Amen. Amen. Now I know many of you are religious right now and saying, well, it, 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 I'm always his. Yes, you are. You are. You're his beloved child. You're covered by Lord Jesus. You are a Christian. You are saved. But remember, God gives you free will. Amen. And it's in this thinking, thinking, that we take this free will and we start having thoughts and conversations that's out of the will of God. Amen. And God says, what are you doing? Amen. I'm standing here before you saying, what are you doing? Amen. The trumpet is going to go off soon if many of you right now are thinking perverse thoughts. If some of you right now are, are, are addicted to things that I beg you in the name of Jesus. If you don't feel comfortable coming to this altar, there's many open seats out here. Get on your knees. Amen. Ask God to forgive you. Amen. Tell God that you're sorry. Amen. And ask God. Ask God for wisdom. Amen. He says you ask him for wisdom, he'll give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. See, many people think that God has prerequisites. You know what I'm talking about? Many people think that, well, I need to be, how many of you heard this? I'll go to church when I get my life right. Yep. Uh, you ain't never coming. <laughs> you ain't never coming. Amen. Uh, at least you ain't never coming to open arms with me in church because we're a bunch of broken people serving a perfect God. Amen. 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 We are His body. Yes. Hallelujah. It's His righteousness that makes us righteousness. And as your brother, I'm just encouraging you. I'm trying to build you up. You listen. You listen. You may sit here today and go, man, when is this over? When is Brother Joey going to be done? Rebuke that. Because the devil wants you to be focused on other things. And when the devil gets into your mind and you start focusing on, well, I'm pretty enough, or I make enough money, or I got a nice thing, or I got a nice boyfriend, I got a nice girlfriend, what is the devil doing? He's trying to take your eyes off of Jesus, your true God-purchased identity. You gotta stay grounded, amen? Oh, praise for me, hallelujah, praise for me. We got two hours left, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're not talking about Daniel, we're talking about Ham, right? And there's Ham, and they changed their name. Shadrach, Abednego, and Meshach. I am Ham through Sam, I am. I am Ham through Sam, I am. Green eggs and Ham, I am, I am. So my question to you is, what has happened in your Christian life that shook you so bad that it messed with your identity? Is it your childhood that the enemy keeps bringing up? Is it a past relationship that there was just so much abuse? And the enemy... Say it with the enemy. Enemy. The enemy, the devil, Satan. See, we gotta keep in mind with all this chaos going on in this world, there is a God, a God, that Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and there is a devil. Yes. And you notice what the enemy is doing to this world right now? Yes. You have Christians protesting, but in the way they show their protesting is stealing, killing, and destroying. That's Who right. was that in John 10:10? 10, 10? Right. Satan. Yeah. The devil. Yeah. Right? Yes. Rather than for us to protest the way that God told us how to. Yes. Love. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Pray. Amen. Amen. Right, bless the Holy Spirit. Amen. Plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, if the devil has reduced your identity to your skin color, there's a problem. Amen. 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 Because the devil can't touch my identity. You know why? When he puts the thoughts of my skin color, of my mind, of the way I act, maybe I'm too excited for you. Guess what? I say, Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 He is my identity. Yeah. Amen. So you can be friends to all you want. But guess what? Jesus is my Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Last time I checked, the Holy Spirit lives on the inside. Amen? Amen. So I am Him, through Sam I am. We're going to get into this right now. Praise God. Already, huh? Let's give him a rinky dink. Okay. <laughs> and for those of you, for those of you who are in prayer for Sister Trish, she only does this as a signal. You got to, you know, like five more minutes. Amen. And you're going to see it. It's going to be absolutely amazing to get through this. Praise God. Um, just bear with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bear with me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder Charlie. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Got one Elder said, Preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so, so we're going to be in Daniel 3. And praise God, we only have this to go through. And uh, we're going to leave it open to what Holy Spirit wants to teach us. Now, in Daniel 3, we have to keep in mind a pandemic took place. This pandemic that took place is King Nebuchadnezzar put up this golden pagan, right, statue. And you need to understand as far as geographically the location, it was basically everybody surrounding. You better worship. And if you don't worship this statue that I put, if you don't fall to your knees and worship, when you hear the music play, you will be killed. You will be murdered. And so we pick up the story here in verse 10. This is what... Shadrach, Abednego, Meshach had to say, Your Majesty has a decree that everyone who hears the sound of all the instruments fall down and worship the image of God. Verse 11, And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into the blazing fire. Four. Here in Kentucky, we like to say four. Oh. Hey, brother, you're going to put up a four? That's a big four. Maybe a fire. No, four. You know, come on, farmers, where you at, right? We build a four out here in Kentucky. Oh. A four. Well, this is a four. Yeah, amen. This is a blazing four. Amen. amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump down. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? Yeah. 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 God has had the real I mean, Listen, despite all this chaos, you chose to bless God. And you could feel his anointing. Amen. 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 You could feel his presence. And God is, doing, God is doing miracles for you and your family. Listen, what you're doing at this moment right now, I need you to be aware. You're planting seeds because the blessings before you, God has gone before you. Amen. amen. What you're doing right now, God is setting up your tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. So Sam, Shadrach, Abednego, Meshach, replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Now let me ask you something. In the climate that this world is in, and in the mentality and how the enemy is trying to infiltrate our thoughts, isn't it amazing that we live in a world that is so sensitive? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just me? No. 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 You say one wrong thing, people get offended real quick. Yeah. They're quick to not want to be your friend. They're quick to cuss you out. They're quick. I mean, my goodness, I seen the other day somebody got upset because their food didn't come fast enough. So you put that value on your joy, right? We live in this day and age right now where it's just me, 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 right? And this is what God is so blessed by you. You're saying it's all about you. Amen. 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 It's all about you, Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. I pray in Jesus' name that before you leave today, that God has given you a fresh anointing that you've opened yourself up in ways that only God can show you. Amen? Only God can show you. God is an intimate relationship, perfect Father. Amen. Will you allow Him in your heart? Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I beg you, don't leave this building. And let's get it right with God. Amen? Amen. Christ, but yet you feel like you're a prisoner in your flesh. You feel that you're a prisoner in your thoughts. I'm going to tell you right now, there's nothing wrong with it. 
There's nothing wrong with you. Amen. What God is saying right now, will you come forward? Amen. Will you go to the altar? Will you allow the elders to pray over you, anoint you in oil? Because all the Holy Spirit wants to do is overflow within your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. This is who King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was talking to. Right? Mm -hmm. Shadrach, Abednego, and Meshach. But the glory of this message and of this story is, as the enemy was talking to Shadrach, Abednego, and Meshach, the devil so ignorant and stupid he didn't know that as he was looking at these men, he was truly talking to Ham, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. So who is your true identity? Lord oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Who is your true identity? Lord Jesus Christ. Which means that no matter what kind of pandemic this world is in, no matter how hot that fire is, are you going to stand for him and say, I'm not going down that road. Yeah. Even if. Even if my God did nothing, your majesty. 
But you notice how this world, how religion conditions us. You do me wrong, I'm going to lash out at you. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Right? When here they are on the, on the brink of torture, death, but yet with the heart of a beloved child of God, Amen. they submit and say, whatever you say, your majesty. And then here it goes. We will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Amen. Amen. Can you hear an amen? Amen. So say with me, I am Ham. I am Ham. Through Sam. Through Sam. I am. I am. The beauty of this message is simply this. You are Ham. That's right. <laughs> you are chosen. Amen. You are his chosen child. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now don't get me wrong, religious people, the theologians, cults, <laughs> pagan religions, they all want to argue the fact that how can you serve a God who predestines people to go to heaven, to go to hell? I'm going to rebuke it straight from the word of God. Amen. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not Right, where you wish you were there. 
there going, dude, you watched us tie them up and put them yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking, right? What are you thinking? And he looks in there and he sees them walking around. You know what I see? I thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Fear steals your life today. Amen. Amen. Worship extends your life. Amen. Amen. Worship extends your life. Amen. Amen. And of course, King Nebuchadnezzar, as you read it, says, I see a fourth man. Amen. I see the fourth man. And he appears as the son of God. Say with me, I am him. I am him. Through Sam. Through Sam. I am. 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 I am.